Yes, probably. Ladies and gentlemen, for those of you who have been following Cup of Joe over the last few years, Paula Henderson yes. is back. She's our health coach. And we thought that you would bring a little difference to using peas and beans by Rigo. Yes. Because yes. I know, I, I mean, I would have make a pillow. I would have make a, a stew peas. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Well, what, what are you going to do with our peas and beans this morning? Well, normally, you know, I'm going to use the chickpea. Right. Right. And... Chana. Chana, right. yeah. Normally, we use it as a savory dish. Right. That's go good with doubles, you know. You know doubles. Exactly, yeah. yes. Exactly. <laughs> but you're not making doubles this morning. No, but no. I thought, why don't we do a little twist and make it into a sweet version? You're going to take the people chana and make it into a yes, sweet Yes, exactly. Somewhere. So I was thinking, you know, um, usually um, chana, we make, um, besides the doubles, right. we make hummus. Right, right, right. right and hummus right. Is, is a nice creamy yeah. texture and it's more savory. Hummus. Yes, yes. Right? So I said, why don't I take the same chana right. and do that same creamy texture, but make it into a sweet item. Right? Oh, you're doing that? And, yes, go ahead. and this is an excellent opportunity to do this, you know, because chana in itself has so much nutritional value. You know, mm -hmm. it's full mm -hmm. of minerals, vitamins, fiber, and it is the perfect vegan substitute to meat. Right. Right? Okay. And I know a lot of people during this time of Lent yeah. have given up meat and are doing a lot of meatless meals That's you know right. yeah so we're doing the same thing that you would do for uh hummus but we're replacing some ingredients right mm -hmm. so what i have here so from um the package you know i like i like to i like to use the dry chana right the regal right? dry, the dry, dry channel, channel. right and i soak it overnight right. so that it just becomes softer right right so softer texture and then um i bring it you either could use a slow cooker or you or your or boil it. Boil it. Yeah. And once it's boiled, um, you let it cool and then you would be adding this into a food processor. Right. Right? For it to to get into this creamy texture. Right. Right? right. So what I added was the chana. I added some almond flour because we want to keep with the same healthy version instead of flour. Right. You can use flour if you are not sensitive to it. Mm -hmm. But I, I like to use the almond flour. And um, instead of using the um, tahini that we use in the hummus, right. I would add in some coconut oil. Oh, that's coconut oil. Yes, coconut oil. Right? And then I would add in some peanut butter mm. as well. I'm, I'm, I'm seeing the combination yes. working well with peanut butter and the chana. Yes, that exactly. Would so well, yeah. give it that nice creamy texture. Okay. And then you just add in, you know, your little cinnamon to flavor it. Maybe a little bit of vanilla awesome. extra. And then I like to put in a little sea salt, you know, just to kind of balance out the sweet mm -hmm, mm -hmm, a little bit. Mm -hmm. And then just a little touch of honey. And then what you do is you put this into a food processor, right? And this is the texture That's that you, you would get. get. You get a nice creamy texture. Right. And then you just mix in some chocolate ch chips. I use the semi-sweet. Um, of course, there are different versions. If you want to use the dark, if you want to use the vegan that has no dairy in it, up to you. And then you could just leave it in a container like this. I like to put it in a nice little jar. So anytime I feel for something sweet, like a, like how you go and get like a spoonful of peanut butter to eat, right. you put this in your fridge and you just take it and it's, it's a nice little So treat. this is ready to eat here? This is ready to eat. So it's, it's, it's called, this is what I called it, a chickpea cookie dough. Because it kind of kind of has a similar thing as a dough. Like, so it's I don't recommend that you bake it because I was it's, 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 it's going to come up a little too dry and it doesn't have the baking powder and right, all of that. Right, right, so right. So it's just a raw chickpea cookie dough. That you can just... That you can just, you know... Dip spoon. Sto dip spoon. You can, you, can put, you can put it in um, the fridge with a nice little cover and that will be your dessert and you can just have it whenever you feel for that little sweetness after. This is actually full of protein and it's a good, it's, it's gonna, it has all this nutritional value in there. 
you know, so it's a good protein snack. If you are going to the gym and you're working out or, or maybe pre or post a workout, anything like that. Peanut butter on its own, it has a little, a little fatty content. Exactly. And peanut butter is a great fat. It's a great fat. Yes. So you and, combine it with, 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 with yes, good chickpeas, exactly. good chano. Exactly. And this is amazing. It is a nice snack. You see? <laughs> So it's like a, like like what we would do with like a, with a Nutella or one of those yeah, nice yeah, desserts, yeah, yeah. but you made your own version, and it's it's really simple ingredients. We're uh -huh. doing everything simple. You know me, I like simple, simple. ingredients, and the least ingredients, the better. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this the best part is there was no cooking involved. There was no cook heating. Mm -hmm. There was no baking. This is chana. And it's chana. <laughs> I can't be doing with chana. <laughs> <laughs> this is chana. Wow, this is amazing. I miss you. I miss you. I miss you. <laughs> <laughs> Paula Henderson, guys, our health coach, um, getting us off to a sweet but healthy start. Um, thanking her for dropping by. She is such a darling. Um, just drops by and shows us some of these crazy little things. Thanks to the folks at Regal Products for making it happen. Um, try the range of Regal peas. Paula probably can come up with something to do with red beans, split yes, peas, sure. lentils, the whole works. Um, that, that, that just keeps it interesting yeah. in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Big sure to come. I want to thank Paula for dropping by.